What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a really exciting video for y'all today. So my buddy just hit me up and told me that he is on an insane fly fishing bite down below a spillway down at the river. And he wanted me to come down there and join along with him and try to wreck some fish on the fly rod. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of fly fishing this year, um, so I might be a little bit rusty, but I've done quite a bit of fly fishing in the past. So I think that we'll be able to get the job done. Although I'm not that proficient at fly fishing in heavy current, which he said that is what we're gonna be fishing. But he said the bite is insane and it shouldn't be that hard to get some big fish on the bank. So we're gonna load up our gear. We're gonna head down there to the river. It takes us about an hour, hour and a half to get there. So I'm gonna get my stuff. I'll catch you guys when we get down there on the water. All right, we have literally just got down here. Dakota's got his rod set up. I'm, I don't even have my catfish rod in the water and he is already linked up with something massive on the fly rod. Oh, Are we gonna see him? Hold on to him, buddy. We gotta see this guy. We're hoping to catch some flatheads out here on the catfish rigs and he possibly already has one hooked up on the fly, which would be insane. Dude, look at that bend. Is that a four weight? Dude, it's a five. Five weight? A tiny five weight. I oh. think, dude, he's acting like a flathead. I've got a six weight. He's all, oh my gosh, dude. He's a, he's a shake, shake, shaking off. <laughs> Just drifting a black woolly bugger, huh? Uh, actually, it's like a little orange nymph. A little though. orange nymph? I didn't have my woolly bugger on. I have woolly buggers, though. And he told me to string up those woolly buggers. I'm gonna have to put orange nymphs on now. Dude, we gotta get a look at this guy. No kidding. Oh. This is probably the biggest thing I've caught on this rod. For real? Yeah. This thing's giving me the, giving me the treatment. Dude, that's just that's just so epic. Oh, he's, it's, he's it's chaos rolling. too. It's got to be a catfish, right? I hope. I mean, I guess it could be a big drum. He ain't fighting like the drum. Dude. He's rolling. Ah, it's, kitty. it's a it's kitty. Blue. It's a blue cat. What the heck, dude? That's like a six-pound blue cat. That's, that's, that's a seven-pound. That's nice. That ain't bad on a fly rod. Look at all that slime, dude. Look at that catfish, guys. He's about gone more out. Brought the big old rods to the river to catch catfish. I'm right here, I'm getting them with the fly rod. Look at that, that's incredible. Come here, guy. Dude, grab that dude. My guy, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. In case you're wondering, he's not using a, he's not using a 1X liter. He's using 12, 12 pound mono. He's using 12 pound mono. A channel. A channel, I thought it was blue cat at first. That's a big old channel. Heck yeah, dude. Way to Woo! kick off the afternoon. Now, that is how we get it done. That's like, literally like, that's like your second or third drift down there? Yeah, was, you walked up and you saw it happen, man. That's crazy. It's been on fire. Oh! Oh. No! Hey, at least you can't go nowhere from there. <laughs> Hopefully not. All right, so we made our way upstream towards the dam a little bit and I'm gonna start testing my luck at some fly fishing action. Dakota caught that nice catfish right off the bat, which was really cool and um, really motivating for me. So, I, you know, I, I'm not the best fly angler out there in the world and fly fishing in this heavy current is, is kind of uh, daunting, but um, we're gonna try to get it down. I got a black woolly bugger tied on. We're gonna start ripping across these rocks. I mean, I see a bunch of shad and I see some fish, you know, tailing around in this area. So there's definitely fish in the area. We just gotta get the fly right in front of them and hopefully they will eat it. So let's get down there and let's catch some. Look at there guys, first drum on the fly down here. There are so many just wrecking these shad. They're pushing them right next to the bank with this heavy current. And there are so many just, just, just busting them. I, I'm working this little, let me get off the hook. I'm working this little black woolly bugger through him. And um, he munched it right at my feet. That's so cool. Hopefully we get a bigger one of this. I want this rod to bend over the way that Dakota did with that catfish. That was so cool. See ya. Oh, it's so much fun catching him on the fly rod. Oh, what? Don't hit the hole. 
slightly bigger than the last one, again, on that woolly booger. All we're doing, like I said, we're just casting up stream into those shad. I've got a little um, BB size, little split shot. We're just letting the bait just sink down and drift right through them. And uh, they're munching it. They're eating all these shad. I might look at my box and anything that imitates shad a little bit better, but I think that the black woolly booger honestly stands out from those shad and it's what's getting them to key in on it. We're gonna throw this guy back and we're going to send another one through that area and hopefully catch another one. Oh my gosh, guys, no joke, look at that. We got our first catfish on the fly. I haven't caught a catfish on the fly in so long. And that is so crazy, a nice little channel cat. All right, like that's a keeper sized fish. Dakota kept that, uh, that first good one, so I'm gonna walk him over there and see if he wants to keep this one too. But that is what it's all about, guys. Coming out here below the dam, drifting a little bully booger. I'm not really that good of a fly fisherman, to be honest with y'all, but um, we're getting the job done. That is so crazy cool. I think we'll be all right. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, it's big. Yeah, oh, it's big. big. That's big. It's big. It's big. It's big, bro. Bro, it's big. I hope it's a big drum. I think it's catfish though. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I got it. I think it's catfish? I don't know what it is. It's big. like a big drum or Big drum! Oh, Huge, finally, we got a big drum, guys. Finally, and he's down that current. That catfish we caught was pretty good size, but he honestly wasn't huge. It was only like a pound and a half. This drum is like a two or three pounder, maybe bigger. I give him three or four. Cody gives him three or four. Three or four. The key to doing this out here in the river is heavy mono. Not that heavy, we're using 12 pound, which you can rip around a fish with. Here he comes, coming to me. Dude, he smashed that bug. Ah, let's go. I give him the, the three. I give him the three also. It's so crazy because these fish will get you down the rocks and in the current, you'll think you're literally hung up. It's so crazy, but that is a nice, nice drum. Now I know these aren't the most highly coveted fish species out there, but um, you know anything goes when you're on a fly. I mean, it's just, it's so much fun. Like if we were catching this on conventional gear, I mean, it would still be fun, but it's just something special about catching them on the old fly rod. And I'm so glad that Dakota let me know about this bite. That is so crazy. Nice drum. Hopefully, before the day's over, we'll have one maybe twice, maybe thrice as big. 10 pounder? What do you think, buddy? Nice. Up there, some big. Ah, that is awesome. What is it? A little flouser minnow? Oh, oh, That's oh, a fish. That's oh. a fish. That's a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Be another big one, dude. You can say double up. You got doubles? Oh, oh, got, oh my gosh, no way! He's going. No way! Oh. Dude, show him. Dakota got a flathead. Doubled up, Dakota's got a flat. I got a, what is that? What is, what it? is that? What is that? That's a drum. That's gotta be a drum. I can't move him. It's a drum. drum. Big, big drum. drum. Oh, it's a big drum. Okay, Dakota got a baby flathead. That is incredible. I've got a drum. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hit right at my feet. Oh. oh, this guy is so cool looking. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the coolest drum I think I've ever caught. The colors on this thing. Let me get a hold of him. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at the colors on this drum. Look at his face. He's got like highballed markings on him almost. Like his fin's got some white on him, his tail has got that white tip to it. Like look at that, his face has literally got those really awesome looking white markings. And that is a bigger one. That's our biggest fish of the day so far. That's like a four pounder on the old classic black woolly bug. And like I said, I've got a, a BB split shot above it just to get it, get it weighted down to drift in the current right. Take one last look at that guy. 
Beautiful, beautiful fish. We're gonna send him back. What you got, man? Oh, instant. 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 That's another pretty decent one, not that big. I'm lying, guys. He's not big at all. <laughs> Ooh, we got ourselves a little fish tank drum. It's cute. We look pretty cool in a fish tank, but it's not the size we were after. Then we got another drum, guys. <laughs> Look at this rod bend. That is so funny. Oh, he's got some cool color. I mean, it's like, look how fat and happy these drum are. They are just cracking me up. Just out here, just busting these shad. I mean, they're rallying. They're eating them on top of water. You could probably throw a popping bug and they would come up and eat it, probably. That's crazy. He's got some cool colors, too. He's got that dark, dark coloration. He's looking so good. Got some really cool dark coloration. Also got like some like blue and some gold, some green color in his scales. Just a beautiful little fish. Arkansas redfish. Arkansas redfish. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yes, again, just drifting that little woolly booger right here in front of me. It, just, it cuts off, there's a little, oh, backboard. There's a little spot where the rocks stick out and there's just a little bit of slack water. There's a bunch of shad and I guess there's a bunch of drummer there. It's kind of a steep spot too. I should be able to, I should be able to do that again. Every time, just about every time. They're all small. That's the only problem with these ones right here in front of me. And while it is fun, it does get a little bit repetitive even, even though it is small. Beautiful little fish. Let's make it one more right there like that. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Clockwork, baby. Oh, I'm about to fall in this dang river. Catching these drums. Woo. I don't want to fall in this river, guys. I want something to pull me in. That's what we're after. Again, no nice little drum. Is it? No, it's a channel. So. No way. Channel. 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 It's a nice channel. Yeah, dude, he thumped it so hard. Finally got something besides a little drum. We've been weeding through dozens and dozens of these little drums in our keeper too, dude. I know it. That's awesome. Dude, he did it so hard. You can definitely tell when it's something different. It's a drum. They just, they just kind of just peck it and they have it. This guy just thumped it. I gotta go down there and chase him, dude. Look at the current. It's like getting faster. That's the only thing about this, though. I can probably drag him. I don't want to lose him. Come here. Oh, there we go. He's helping me out. Here we go, dude. Yeah. Here we go. Do a freaking catfish. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Boom. That is so crazy. That'll fry nicely. Heck yeah, dude. Uh oh. Okay, I'm not sure how many times we've done this today, but we've doubled up once again, but I think I've got the better end of the double up this time. Still not as good of a catfish as the one that Dakota caught earlier on, but still, channel catfish on the fly rod down here in the river. The current has really picked up too. And it's just crazy like how aggressive these fish are right up on these rocks. Like, literally the fly is drifting right like six inches in front of our feet and they're just messing it up. That is a really nice catfish. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's catch more. Cheers. Cheers to a good time catching catfish on the fly. It's moving pretty fast up here. I think that's the biggest drum today. There we go, finally got ourselves another sizable drum. He's kind of skinny. The other ones have kind of been pretty chubby with all the shad around. Surprised this guy is as skinny as he is, but he's still probably like a like a four pounder or so. Could be five if he was if he was filled out, but we'll call him four. Look at the head on that sucker. 
We'll see you. That was cool. Dude, look at the size of this drum decoder just caught. It. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that thing is fat. That's like the same build as or the same length as the big one I just caught, but yours is way more filled out. Look at the colors. So beautiful. Yeah. Gold. It's got that speculant space going on. It's got fish breakfast. That's a beautiful fish. Black boogers doing them dirty out here. Definitely the best drum of the day so far. Awesome. Now we just need one more big catfish and I feel good about it. I already feel great about it, but we'll feel like static about it if we get another big catfish. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. Crushed it. Crushed it. I think it's drunk. Oh, he's not as big as I thought he was. He just hit it so hard. Ugh. It's hard not to think that every one of these is a monster just by the way they hit it. It's just so crazy. Like, I haven't, I haven't caught fish like this ever. It's awesome. Okay, yeah, we're gonna try to catch one more. Just one more. Shouldn't take but one more cast. go that's a good one right there to end on guys oh big guy big guy in the current big guy in the current oh look at that rod then look at that rod then guys i'm slipping all over the place is this a drum or a catfish i don't even know i don't even know what this is guys i'm gonna strip him in he's coming back he's coming back come here oh <laughs> Oh, it's a big one. Oh gosh, it's a big one. Yes, get up here. That's a good one to end on, guys. Big, beautiful fish. Come on, we gotta land. <laughs> now that is what I'm talking about right there, guys. That is a really, really nice drum. That's like, Probably five pounder. He's nice and poochy. Really, really beautiful. Got some great gold colors, just some good dark colors. Just really filled out. And this is a great representation of the day we've had out here today. We've caught a lot of drum. We've been busy catching them on these flies all afternoon long. Probably caught, I don't even know, 30, maybe even 40 fish out here. It's been nonstop action. Little ones, big ones, medium sized ones. We caught some catfish. It's just so cool. I wish we could catch more catfish, but I'm, I'm just stoked on the day we had out here. We're definitely going to have to come out here again, expand on this pattern. I want to say a big thanks to my buddy Dakota for getting us out here today. Let me know about the hot bite. But with that, we're going to take this guy down to the water's edge. And we're going to release him. I don't care what y'all say. That is a beautiful drum. We will see you when we see you. There he goes. All right. Well, I think with that, this is where we're going to end today's episode. Had a great time out here at the river, definitely. Not the last time we're gonna be down here fishing. If y'all enjoyed this video and the fly fishing content you would like to see more, be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.